All right, what is up, boys? So, Jesus, God, look at my eye. So, if you guys don't know, um, basically, Texas is, like, only for the strong. Like, this is brutal. I've been sick now, and it's moved from, like, my lungs to my, my nose, my head. Jesus, I look like a demon. But I think it's the Texas Cedar. I'm going to deadlift today. I'm going to take you guys through the workout. I'm going to probably try and show you, like, my full day of eating as well. I haven't done this in a while. So I just bought a bunch of groceries. Normally, all I do for breakfast is a smoothie. Um, they were out of, like, actual milk, so I bought I bought chocolate Fairlife. It's going to be weird. I never do this, but basically, like, uh, I'll show you guys all the fruit. But we're going to deadlift today. Full day of eating. I'm going to show you my whole day. It's going to be immaculate. Let's fucking go. Check this out. Ninja. It's a new blender I got. It suctions. It's not working, but it suctions literally to the counter. Amazing. I had one of these blenders years ago, and I really just got a new one. So, as you can see, definitely a daily driver. This is what we're going to do. We got mango. We're not putting the ground beef in there. That'll be for later. But basically, pre-workout, I do this every day. Mango is a new addition, but strawberry banana, um, this uh, cherry berry blend thing. I've been doing pineapple for a while. Like I said, they were out of normal milk, so I'm going to be doing chocolate milk, which is, uh, it's going to be weird. But I'm going to show you guys the setup here. Obviously, right now, this is like, it's 10.50 in the morning. I've not eaten yet. And I don't want to eat any, like, foods that are going to take a long time to digest. So I like to make this smoothie. I might not finish the whole thing right now. I normally fill the whole blender. So it's like 64 or even more like 70 ounces of fluid. So in my eyes, it's better than water. The I don't want to get too sciencey here, guys. But the, the water, the H2O, is like ionically bound to the carbohydrates and whatnot that are in this actual food, fruit. So early in the morning versus just like pounding a lot of water that's just going to kind of go through you. I like to get in a little bit of salt, just like a uh, tablespoon of salt, and then a large amount of fruit that has water in it. And then I feel hydrated for hours. On the way to the gym, I'm gonna pick up another gallon of water and probably a probably an energy drink, let's be real. I'm gonna deadlift today, probably pretty heavy, we'll see. Um, but I'm gonna pick that up on the way there, but I will have already consumed probably at least half of this. So I'm gonna show it all blended up, let's go. And I know people are going to come at me about my, my disgusting eye. I got some acne too. People are going to come at me and go, oh, Shane, like, you got to get this. You got to get that. Check this out. I got this bad boy, which I know is like, that's just eye drops, not a big deal. Doesn't really do anything. My eye still stays red. I got this bad boy, which is just like um, generic Flonase. And then I've been taking, just for one day now, um, the Claritin. But if you guys don't know, I've been sick for four weeks now. Check this out. I was weighing up to 280, 285, like two weeks out before my meet. I weighed 257 right now. I weighed 265 at my meet. So I have been coming down a little bit. I'm not too attached to it. We're eight and a half weeks out. We are going to start the ascension back up. So without further ado, let's go, boys. All right, boys. So I already made a massive like amateur mistake. You see this? You see that fruit in there? The blender doesn't work. It has this removable blade. So check this out. If you ever do this, check this out. This is what you're going to want to do. You want to unsuction your blender. You're going to take this bad boy off. You got to dump it. Out of the bowl. These are my giant bowls I eat out of. And then you have to properly put in um, the blade. And then you're good to go. Then you can actually go add your fruit. So that's the first two. It's a little bit um, redundant with these strawberries. They're just in like everything. So I'm going to bring a lot of strawberries. But I do really like the cherries. They give it a different like, a different tartness, you know. And then, last but definitely not least, um, this has been a huge addition to my shake is this non-frozen pineapple so it's definitely a lot sweeter um, some of these shakes can be not bitter but just not the sweetest i'll add honey sometimes too but i find the pineapple uh really helps it like just sweeten up i don't actually measure this 
I just buy like a bunch of fruit and I aim to have it last me like, you know, three to five days. But again, I'm not actually measuring. This is gonna be weird. I'm gonna tell you guys right now. This is not this is not my normal this is not my normal protocol because I'm gonna have to put chocolate milk in here. So usually what I like to do is use just normal whole milk fair life, whatever it's called. Or um, I've been getting this raw milk, but I only get like a gallon a week and I drink it in like two days. So on the days I have that, I will use the raw milk um, for my smoothie. I basically just load that bad boy up like that and pretty much good to go. Boom, boom, boom. Yo, so I have a lot of exciting things today. This is going to be like a day in the life video. So normally it's 11 o'clock. I woke up a little bit later. Like I said, I've been sick. I've been dealing with a little, like a few things, just trying to get everything back regimented. Um, this is my smoothie. Smoothie actually turned out tremendously. It's very thick sometimes. I got to like wait for it to melt a little bit, but yeah. The chocolate milk, actually incredible. So I have a few exciting updates. This is off my iPhone, but I did get a camera. Um, this is Sony. Jeez, what's on my finger? I think it's just fruit. This is the Sony ZV-1. I bought this camera off Amazon and it doesn't work. So I'll show you guys. Basically, you like go to turn the camera on and the lens won't come out. It just says turn off then power on. And it just says this indefinitely. The lens won't open. Uh, it's kind of a pain in the ass. But so what I did, I just bought a better camera. So I bought the Sony ZV-E10, I believe it's called. I think it says it somewhere over here. Um, yeah, the Sony ZV-E10. And I'm really happy with this camera. I got this little tripod thing too, but super happy with it. Um, I'm going to be definitely making more YouTube videos. It's kind of a pain though, just to, I don't have a cord yet that I can attach to my phone. So just transferring content from here to my phone or to my computer off the Wi-Fi takes like hours, especially in 4K. So I'm waiting on that. So I'm gonna still be using the phone for now. Um, but yeah, basically that's like what I do. I, I make this shake. Normally, I don't have to go get groceries in the morning, but I do some amount of work. I kind of have like three times in the day that I try to do all my work. And I, I have clients that I respond to. I have new clients that I'm taking on um, kind of all the time. So just kind of onboarding process, communications, and just, just doing my work like that. Um, and normally what I'll try to do is have like two or three times, or like three or four times during the day that I'll spend like an hour just doing that, just knock it all out, take a break, come back to it. I like to get this thing in me, or at least half of this thing in me before I go train. Um, so it's 11 now, I'll probably be at the gym by 12. I'll probably drink half or so and then be on my way to the gym. Uh, we have an RPE 9 deadlift single today. It's going to be a little bit interesting because my thumbs, it's only been 12 days, I think, since the meet. My thumbs are still kind of torn. They're not bad. You can see it's not bad. I don't know if you guys can see that, but it's healed a lot and I really don't want to re-tear it. So I'm going to see just kind of how everything's feeling. But the goal is to pull somewhere between like eight and 900 pounds. I don't know, with straps, which will probably be a little bit easier. Um, but it will be my first session back on the Texas deadlift bar. This meet is going to be on the Texas deadlift bar, not the Kabuki. So yeah, it should be a tremendous day. We're doing some SSB pause squats first. Same prep as last time. Nothing's changing. We're going to do almost the exact same prep. I'm going to get healthy. I'm going to get big and we're going to we're going to crush it. We're going to I'm not going to tell you what I'm going to do. I'll show you, but we're going to do something special. So, thank you guys for tuning in. I will see you guys probably when we're actually at the gym or on the way or something like that. All right, boys, these are the sleeves. They're all packaged, so I'll open this um, off camera and I'll show you guys at the gym. But this is this is huge. This is gonna be this is gonna be game changing. So obviously, I already squat 800 pounds, but the more I can squat over 800 pounds, the closer we can get to that you know huge ass total. So this is gonna be this is gonna be some good stuff. I'm gonna I'm gonna fully maximize this.
boom, we are back. So I'm gonna drop a little bit of knowledge for you guys. If you're prepping for a meet, I know I look horrible. If you're prepping for a meet, this is what you wanna do. You wanna to start to standardize everything you do. So in my opinion, training around the same time every day, waking up at the same time every day, eating the same food every day. You wanna make your life really boring by knowing exactly what's gonna happen, by controlling as many variables as possible. Sodium, potassium, magnesium, electrolytes, water, carbohydrate intake, protein intake, every single thing. Normally what I do, I drive to this gas station, I buy myself one of these, Bang Energy, 300 megs caffeine. I'll take one of these if it's a heavy enough day. Now people ask me, oh, you take ephedrine every day? No, I don't take ephedrine every day. I have this shit going on with my lungs too, and I think this helps to kind of break up some of the mucus and breathe a little bit better. But I will only take this if I'm doing a relatively heavy single on a squat bench or deadlift, which really, we alternate heavy squat and deadlift each week, and usually a bench single uh, three or so, two or three weeks out of the month or heavy bench, so in prep. So usually I'm taking ephedrine like at the most twice a week. I don't like to take it every day. You you build a tolerance, but taking ephedrine um, with caffeine is, uh, there's some synergy there. It's better than just taking more caffeine. Um, there's something about it. You guys know I'm really into uh, nasal breathing. And I'm also pretty into like Wim Hof breathing, especially not like, not in the way that I think like a lot of people do it, but when I'm lifting, if I'm gonna lift something heavy, I am breathing, I'm doing that cyclical hyperventilation through the nose and focusing everything I can, visualization, adrenaline starts to be released. Like it's not bullshit, it is absolutely legitimate. So I know I'm all over the place here. Where this is my pre-workout routine. I oh no. Oh, I probably lost half my caffeine, but it is what it is. <laughs> I drink this water. I buy one of these gallons. I'll drink this during training. Like I said, I've had I basically no water today. I had orange juice right when I woke up, and then I went and made that smoothie, which is like I said, a large amount of water. I have the knee sleeves here. We're gonna deadlift. Let's go, boys. Let's fucking go. Eight weeks out, I want to let you guys know about something else, too. Two weeks after that meet, I'm doing a seminar in Rhode Island. So if you guys, if you're in Rhode Island, it's going to be at Top Strength Project, which is Steve Tripp's gym in uh, Rhode Island. I don't know, Providence. Man, I've never been there. I've never been up north like that. So it's going to be super cold, probably. It's going to be a new experience for me. I've never done a seminar that's like solo just me so i'm super nervous but i'm also extremely excited i'm gonna put together like a powerpoint it's gonna be like high school i'm really excited to like be able to put my own little project together that i can work on for like two months also during meat prep and it'll be right after i compete so i can talk about my last two meats um i can talk about nutrition I'm, I, it's up to me i'm gonna really i'm really excited because like the ball's in my court it's up to me it's like a creative kind of uh thing so i'm super super grateful for, for the opportunity if you guys are in the area rhode island providence sorry new england um definitely think about it uh signing up i believe you can sign up through uh if you check out steve's instagram his name's like strip cam on um on instagram check his his instagram out he's i think selling the tickets there's only 20 or 25 it's gonna fill up quickly so if you guys are interested, absolutely sign up. I would love to meet you and see you there. Um, but overall, I'm just really excited to be able to create my own little presentation and then present. Uh, it makes me nervous, like public speaking absolutely makes me nervous. But I think it's a good thing. You know, I want to share some of a lot of the things that other people have shared with me. I want to, you know, pass that on, that knowledge, that uh, live, learn, pass on, you know. So thank you guys for watching. I'm super excited to go train. I haven't deadlifted since the meet, so I'm really excited. Uh, I might show you guys a little bit of mobility and stuff I do pre-lifting. Sometimes I don't do that much because I can just kind of get in it, but let's go, let's go, let's go.
Yes, sir. Walk it oh. out, Jay. Okay? Oh. Flex on with my raw, bro. See that?
boys, what is up? So we were at Primal for a long time. I was like halfway to the gym and Jesus hit me up and he's like deadlifting today. So I pulled conventional, I pulled 837 conventional. I included Jesus's, um, Jesus tried 903. I pretty much think he did it. He had a little bit of slippage in his hand, uh, but I've been here for about four and a half hours. So we are gonna head home. I'm still continuing this full day of eating. All I've had today is like half that smoothie. I'm gonna go home, pound that. I got my raw milk. I had, uh, I think I showed you guys a little clip of me getting a little post workout nutrition. If you guys are still drinking protein powder, stop. Protein powder is garbage. Everyone comes at me for this, but eat real food. Especially like, oh man. If you have any digestive issues, you need to stop eating protein powder. It's ultra processed trash. Call me a bro scientist, I don't care. Eat real food. Eat beef, drink milk, eat eggs. I love you boys. I will see you when I get home and I recover, shower and everything. And then it's it's eating time. It's around 4.30. Crystal's gonna be home soon. And uh, she already trained today. So it's just, we're just gonna be chilling. That's the name of the game. I was talking about standardizing things. You guys gotta train hard, but you gotta recover equally as hard. Like food, sleep, that's how you get strong. You don't get strong in the gym. You get strong out of the gym. Not going on a rant right now, but I, I love you boys. I will see you guys when we're home. I'm sick. I weigh 255 pounds, but I still had an all-time conventional deadlift PR. I am coming. I'm not going to say, I'm not going to say what I'm going to do because I'd rather show you boys than tell you, but I am coming. Just let, just know I am coming. I am coming. I am him.